Welcome back to Visual Basic for Beginners. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can develop a basic Windows application. I hope you have already reviewed my earlier tutorials, seven of them, which cover a wide range of topics. The objective of this lesson is to build a simple Windows calculator, which will have two text fields, two text boxes, two buttons, add button and multiply button, which will either add or multiply the two numbers in these two text boxes and display the result in a label. So start Visual Basic 2010 Express, select the new project. On the next screen, select Windows Forms application. On the next screen, you would see a form. This is the Visual Basic form. This is going to become your window around which you will be building your application. So the first thing to do is to select the objects, the components, the controls that you want to build your user interface. So step number one, uh, I need uh, two text boxes. Find the text boxes, draw text box one, and then go back and select that text box and draw the second text box. So these are the two text boxes where user would enter the information. Then I'm going to place a label which will be used for displaying the results. Label one and two buttons. Button one, the, we will call it the add button and button two, we'll call it the multiply button. Now, before we start writing the code, let us clean up the user interface. In this case, the first button that you drew is called button one. Let's display little more meaningful text. So go to the text property of the button object and you do that by selecting the button once. Don't double click on that. Finding the text property for the button and uh, overwriting that number to add. Then select the second button by clicking on it once. Select the text property and change that to mul multiply. Okay, so we are done with the user interface. This is what we want our application to look like. Now we are ready to write the code. So the first thing is, what do you want to have happen when the user clicks on the add button? To do that, you double click on the add button. So when you double click on the add button, you would see a window like this. It'll give you a predefined procedure, which says something like private sub button one underscore click, etc. Don't change anything in there. All we want to do is to write the code inside of it. So here, I'm going to declare three variables. Dim a comma b comma c as uh, double. They're going to be all of the type double. Then I'm going to read the first value of the text box in the variable a. And you might have seen the double parse method that you have seen earlier. And in this case, the value is coming from the text box. The text box is text property. So we are going to read the first number as the variable A. Then I'm going to read the second number as the variable B from the second text box. I'm going to then add up the number C equals A plus B. And now I am ready to display the results in the label. And you do that by saying label one dot text. The result is going to go into the text property of the label control. And you're going to convert the number two, number C, the variable C to a string and display the results. Uh, we are mostly done. So now it's time to go back and check the project. Click on the start button. and you will see a form or a window like this come up. In this case, enter a number in the text box A 
enter another number in the text box B and then click on the add button right it took your numbers added them up and it is displaying the results in that label control if you click on the multiply button it is not going to do anything yet because we haven't programmed that one yet so stop the project go back to the design uh, before we do that I'm going to copy I already copied the copied the code from the add button earlier I'm now going to go to the multiply button uh, I'm going to type all that code in there and the only thing that is different here is the multiplication operation that is required I still read the numbers a and b and in this case I'm going to be multiplying them rather than adding them so now both the buttons should work let's go back and start it the first number is 12.5 the next number is 4.0 add would give you 16.5 multiply would give you 50 so there is our calculator now you can you know make many enhancements to it make sure that the numbers are right justified and you do that by changing the properties of that control in this case the text box 1 and text box 2 for example right now my window says form 1 what I like to do is to say calculator so let me stop the project select the form select the form in this case make sure that the form is highlighted and not any other control make sure under the properties window it says form 1 then go to the text property and type in calculator instead of form 1 as soon as you press the enter key now that says calculator so you can change the properties of many of these controls to enhance the user interface so that was our calculator and I'm sure you have lots of ideas on how you can improve upon that calculator maybe write a mortgage calculator or calculator that does something specific for you uh, in case if you miss the code this is what the code looks like remember again whenever you double click on the button the event procedure sub button one underscore click etc will be given to you all you need to do is to write the code within it don't modify the event procedure uh, that is already given to you here is the one for the multiply button so that this one was the last tutorial in this series uh, thank you for listening and I have many more tutorials available on my website uh, topics that are covered are visual basic of course C sharp Java XML uh, PHP and more are being added every day.